Welcome to day 87 of our BU 365 Day Challenge. Do one thing every day that improves us, improves you, improves me in some way, shape, or form. This section, this segment, the month of March, we are focusing on our mental well-being. We've talked about a lot of different aspects of our thoughts, our beliefs, where they come from, how they come from, our mindset, visualization, imagination. We talked about visualization a couple of days ago. And one of my favorite <clears throat> Specific types of visualization is something I learned from an amazing human being named Jim Edwards. He wrote a book called Power Vision Movie, and it was part of his true life success stories. And I was part of that group that inaugurally, inaugural, the first group that went through that program <clears throat> with Jim and several other people that followed Jim back then. Jim was one of the first uh, online marketing people that I ever was attracted to and followed online even before I had left I'm trying to think if I was in corporate America still or just running my own businesses but <clears throat> I didn't have a whole lot of time to devote to the internet but I was always curious about it and Jim was actually the first online marketing event I ever went to in Atlanta Georgia was Jim's event and uh, I, I still am friends with many of the people that I met at that event so one of the things that I did with Jim following that event was, and it was probably a few years later, was a series he did called True Life Success Stories. And one portion of that was about, it was all about getting what you want in life, right? Don't we all want to get what we want in life? That's kind of what this whole annual challenge is about, is helping us to make what we want come to us more easily and effortlessly than having to strive and struggle and hustle and work hard to get anything and everything that we want because it doesn't have to be that hard we're led to believe it has to be that hard but it doesn't really have to be and with the tools we're learning this year we can get anything and everything we want in life by applying the tools applying ourselves in ways that are smart maybe mentally challenging but not necessarily physically grueling or painful or hard everything doesn't have to be painful the whole no pain no gain thing i don't necessarily believe in that maybe no effort no work put forth no energy put into something no gain but it doesn't have to be painful so power vision movie jim actually has a book out on this and i believe you can get it on Goodreads, you can get it on Amazon, you can get it on Amazon Kindle, uh, and you can listen in on the master teaching this method. But I'm just going to give you a quick overview of it, and if you need more information, go to the source, go to Jim's book, get his book, it's only a few dollars, and then spend, invest in yourself and, and listen to it so that you can make this tool a part of your toolbox, something that you have ready access to whenever you need it. So what do you do? We, we talked about visualization a few days ago. We talked about tips to visualization. Hopefully you've been practicing it a little bit. Now today, this is a specific type of visualization, the Power Vision movie. And it takes regular visualization. And to me, it puts it on steroids because it does a couple of things. Jim says, first off, think about what do you want? What is it that you want? So let's all think of a mental well-being thing that we want today. So pick one mental well-being type thing that you want. I want to be, um, I, I, I want to be so many things. I want to have, you know, no limiting beliefs. I want more empowering beliefs. I want to be a better storyteller. Let's use that one as an example. So stay, say my objective is I want to be an awesome storyteller. I want to be an awesome um, person that people understand. I want to inspire other people through the stories that I share and tell. Because stories are a great way to help communicate a message to people, a transformation to people. Uh, and so I want to be just fantastic at sharing and telling stories. So in order to envision myself being an awesome storyteller, I'm going to create a movie and an experiential movie in my mind. And I'm going to step into that movie and I'm going to be in it as if I am the star of the movie, experiencing that experience of the end result I want right now so i'm gonna imagine myself with surrounded by a group of people and i'm telling them stories about what you know whatever it is that the topic at hand is maybe it's a business group maybe it's a i used to tell stories in and talk and speak in front of real estate investing groups so maybe it's a group of real estate investors maybe it's a group of women business owners maybe it's a group of whatever but i'm surrounded by a group of people that are 
listening to me tell stories and I am feeling the feelings and seeing the sights and sounds and expressions on their faces of them, the light bulb moments of them understanding the messages that I'm sharing with the story, etc. And I'm in that experience, smelling the smells, seeing the sights, feeling the feelings, mostly feeling the feelings and the emotions attached to that experience as if I'm really doing it. So that's the power of the Power Vision movie is we are actually actively engaging ourselves in the end result the the thing that we actually want and we're experiencing it and remember our mind can't tell the difference between something that we vividly imagine and and act out in our mind and visualize and experience than our actual physical experiences it's why you see athletes practicing it's why you see performers practicing in their mind before they actually go on and do their performance. You see this a lot in competitions nowadays. You didn't used to, but you sure do now. I remember watching the Olympics this year and thinking, well, you can see every one of them practicing in their mind before they actually, and visualizing their performance before they actually go and do their performance. And uh, I think it's interesting. I noticed it more in the women's sports and then they would go and perform and do well than in the men's events the, of the same event. This, I was watching snowboarding events with the kids and I'm like, you would see the women practicing their routine and then going and just knocking it out of the park. But you didn't really see the men taking the minute or whatever to run through their routine. Maybe they do it, but they don't want anybody to see them doing it. I don't know. But I just thought it was interesting that you would even see any evidence of that going on. I thought it was awesome because it is such a key to success and it's such a thing that we can model and use in our own life. It is a true life success lesson. So I would say check out Jim's true life success lessons. Shameless plug for Jim. I, I love Jim Edwards. Uh, and then if you have any questions about this, hit me up. Otherwise, our action item today is to think of something mental well-being related that you want and then create a little moving picture in your mind about as if you've already got it. Feel the feelings. Add all your senses, even your sixth sense, that tingly little spidey sense that says, oh my gosh, I'm right on. Add that. Add all your senses. Step into it. Be a part of the movie and then be inside of it as you're feeling and seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching the experience. Make it so, so sensual and so sense-filled that it has a huge impact on you. And then share in the comments below, did you do this? How did it feel? Etc. All right, have a great day. Any questions, ask. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow for another mental well-being related uh, topic for this segment of the challenge. And then in April, we'll be moving on to spirituals. We only have a couple of days left. All right, any questions, ask about anything mental or mental well-being related. And then remember, you can always ask any type of question anytime. All right, all right, have a great day. Bye. Have fun with this. It is a fun, very, very powerful exercise.